Hello and welcome to the channel. For this video, I'm going to be opening up two uh, UFC Select blasters that I picked up at Target this morning for my personal collection. And I'm hoping to get one of these exclusive fancy prism cards. Or I don't know if you can get autographs. I mean, I can't read. The, the print is so small. My eyesight is not what it used to be. But if you want to freeze frame... I don't know if you can get autographs out of this, but if you can, maybe I'll luck up and get one. I'm just hoping to get some prisms or some nice inserts or, or something fancy of good fighters or some of my the fighters that I like. So I've never opened up select UFC before. It's usually been uh, Prism and Chronicles. I know last year was the first year that it came out and I couldn't, I don't know if they made retail for it last year or not. If they did, it, it wasn't out for very long. So, four. so you get six packs and there are four cards per pack. So here's the first box. I think in an earlier video I made this month when I opened up uh, some Prism, I was talking about the Juliana Pena, Amanda Nunez rematch fight. I thought it was that weekend, but it's not actually until this weekend. And I'm looking forward to seeing if uh, Juliana can defend her title and hold on to it, or if that was just a fluke win um, I'd actually like to see Juliana win just uh, for variety in the championship and to keep uh, maybe Amanda in her uh, regular weight class because there's a few people waiting for her in that class alright let's see if we get any rookie cards I uh, Ty Tavasa is a heavyweight. Rose Namanunez, my nephew loves this girl. Actually, I like her too. She's a great fighter. She just lost her title not too long ago in a decision. Knowing her, she'll come back and recapture it. Be a three-time champion. Brock Lesnar, another fighter that I used to like watching. And then we have a prism of Rose. It's got some curvature going on, but I'm not going to be upset with that. I'm going to sleeve her up, get her in a top loader when I get home, so we can try and straighten that card out a little bit. So you see Prism. So that wasn't a bad pack. Two of my favorites. Nikita Krylov. Uh, Matt Schnell, who had an incredible fight a couple weekends ago on a Saturday UFC fight night on ABC. Man, that fight, he was he got knocked down. Oh, three or four, maybe five times, but came back and won and choked. I think he choked out. Did he choke out the guy? Or he may have knocked him out with the TKO, but it, man, that was an incredible fight. George St. Pierre. This looks like it is a insert or something. Premier level. Oh, okay. That's right. They have different like concourse and stuff like that. So. Yeah, this is a concourse, so this is a premier level, so it's a it's a variation. And then we have a nice orange, reddish, I don't know what this is, maybe a flash, maybe a flash exclusive, I don't know. 
Somebody let me know in the comments if you know what parallel is. But it's nice too. Again, Henry Cejuda, he's coming back. Um, this card is off centered, but still a nice looking prism. Sleeve him up. He is a dual champion, two weight classes. This pack feels light. Madaraji Su. I think that's how it's pronounced. It's a rookie card. Okay, so there's our first rookie card. Uh, the Karate Hottie. Right behind him, Michelle Waterson. I think it's now Michelle Waterson Lopez. There's Juliana Pena. And a, a Prism Brock Lesnar. Sleeve Brock up. Uh, we got Charles Oliveira. I think he's the other main event in the fight, or maybe it's the next month. He had to vacate his title because he didn't make the weight, but he's going to be fight. I forget who he's fighting. Drawing a blank on who he's fighting. We got, did we get an extra card in this one? We may have gotten an extra card. Carol Rosa, rookie card. Max Holloway. This is a, a, octagon side so that's another parallel and then we have this Sorel Gan I guess this might be a zebra global icons and then behind that a Colby Covington man we're getting oh that one has a nice print line in it we're getting some nice inserts see there's a I don't know if you can see it on camera certain angle there's a print line right across here go ahead and sleeve those two up yeah, this card is sweet Oh, Patty Pimlet. All right, that's a good rookie card to get. This card, this pack only has three cards in it, so it made up for the other one. Average four. The other pack had five. So this is a good card to have. I'm probably going to sleeve that one up. Holly Holm and Alonzo Minifield, rookie card. And this is a mezzanine parallel. Patty the Batty. He's an up-and-comer. Put him in this pile. Here's another Sahudo, Paul Craig rookie card. Not familiar with him. Algermain, Algermain Sterling, and a green Raphael Fazive. Fizev, I'm not sure how to pronounce his last name. A Prism rookie. So we'll sleeve him up. He is a lightweight. I'm not familiar with him. So we'll put him over here. So that was our first blaster. Now we're into the second one. That's a, that was a good box. Pretty happy with the cards out of that box. Another Paddy the Batty. All right, well, I'm not going to complain about that. 
put him back here for now. Holly Holm again, Cejudo, and a Cynthia Calvillo prism. Sleeve her up and sleeve my second Patty the Batty. Also a lightweight. That lightweight division is stacked. Craig, Aljamain Sterling again, Brad Riddell, and uh, gosh, Israel Adesanya, uh, maybe Tiger, Prism, man, I'm hitting some big names in these parallels. This is a premier level. Another champion, Alexander Volkanovsky, uh, legend, middleweight, Rich Franklin, Islam Makayev. Oh, he's another fighter. Oh, who's, he's got a big fight coming up against Nate Diaz, I believe, and Robert Whitaker. Duplice, or Duplices, I just watched him fight not too long ago. He's from South Africa. It's a rookie card. I'll sleeve that one up. Anderson Silva, another legend, and an insert of Patty Pimblet, Patty the Batty, select f phenomenon. Man, these boxes are stacked with st great cards. Man, I might have to go back and get a couple more. I really like this set. I'm going to put my sleeved up rookie cards over here. All right, two packs left. Vivian Araujo, Araujo, Shavkat Rachmanov, and I'm, I don't know if I got that right. Here's another Islam Makayev. This is a parallel, and Michael the Count Bisping. Former middleweight champion and now broadcaster for many of the fights. Actually. All right, our right, last pack. This was a fun opening. I really like these cards. All right, here's Rafael Fazayev again. Tom Aspinall, another rookie card. Rafael Dos Anjos. And this is the guy that Matt Schnell fought. Um, he was winning. He definitely won the first round. And he was winning the second round. 
And then he got tired, and Snell, Snell caught him and knocked, he either knocked him out TKO or he, he choked him out. I can't remember how the fight went, but it was a crazy fight. But uh, this guy's an up-and-coming fighter, too. And he uh, puts on a good show. He just gassed himself in that fight because he had it won. Is that, uh, how do you pronounce his name? Mudaraji Su. Um, but yeah, man. These are two great boxes. Awesome cards. Prisms. Several rookie cards of, of good up and coming fighters, too. Um, we've got some veteran parallels. This being another rookie, Paddy the Batty Whitaker, Israel out of Sanya. Couple Patty Pimlet rookies. You have Cynthia here, Prism, Raphael, this nice Sorel Gan insert. Kobe Cummington, the Lesnar Prism, Henry Cejudo, and Rose. Nice stack of veterans. And mostly, I mean, good fighters too. Not like a bunch of chump, you know, no-name guys. These are all guys guys and gals who were contenders or, or cha former champions or up-and-comers. And... I know I probably mixed some of these in there, but these are some of the parallel, um, like concourse, mezzanine, octagon level, premier level. I'm sure I missed some. I didn't separate them all. And I'll probably sleeve these up too because they're harder to get. But yeah, that's it, man. This I like this product. I think I may go back and buy a couple more boxes. This was good. Thanks for watching, everyone. Uh, if you don't mind hitting the like button, subscribing to the channel to support us, and drop a comment. Let me know what you thought about these cards, and if you bought any, and if you've hit any big pulls, let me know in the comment section. Thanks. Bye.